I come to you from the world of television news. I spent 25 years as an on-air reporter. It's a crazy world. <laughs> I think most industries have, what, weekly or monthly deadlines, probably? We had multiple daily deadlines. Like many of you, I was a perfectionist, and I struggled, and I strived to make everything a priority. But with that many assignments back to back to back to back, there was just no way to always do my best. And that was a problem, because how could I compete if I didn't always do my best? You see, at ABC News, where I worked, they pitted we correspondents against each other to compete for airtime. Yeah, we had to compete against the other networks and against each other. And at ABC, airtime was known as oxygen. And we all know what happens if you don't get enough oxygen, right? Yeah. That's why I did crazy things. Like, I once went to seven states in 24 hours for Good Morning America, states that were not all next to each other. Another time, Diane Sawyer decided at 5.30 in the morning that she wanted a brand new lead story for that morning's GMA. And so her producer called me, woke me from a dead sleep, and I raced to the ABC Bureau and was on the air 90 minutes after getting that phone call talking about the problem with BPA in plastic bottles. Ugh. It was because of mornings like that that I was pretty sleep deprived. And at one point I developed dry eyes. And I'll never forget, I went to the eye doctor and she said, oh, Elizabeth, this is so manageable. You just need a little me time. I want you to put warm compresses on your eyes for five minutes a day. I looked at her through my dry eyes and said, Doc, I do not have five minutes a day. I didn't. That was my life. Now, I am not complaining. I loved it in a sick sort of way. But I knew I needed to do something revolutionary to compete. And so I asked myself, what if there was a totally different way of approaching work. And that's when I stopped always trying to do my best and started dividing my work into three tiers. All of my work had to be good. Much of my work would be better. And I would make a few worthy projects per year my very best. It's not that I never did my best, far from it, but I reserved that peak level of effort for when it really mattered. I was just trying to survive. <laughs> Beat out the other correspondents and survive. <laughs> but a funny thing happened. I thrived. My team and I exposed terrible wrongdoing. Our stories prompted congressional inquiries and got laws changed. We won millions of dollars back for consumers. We won 13 Emmys. By not always doing my best, I did better work. 